got new plants. <laughs> Technically, they're not my plants and they're not new. They're actually my friend's plants and I'm babysitting for them. Look at all these beauties. I know half of these, but I'm not too experienced with all of them. This guy is a really interesting fern and it looks like it usually splits off at the end. This guy here, I don't really know what it is, but I will try and figure it out. This one's a Monstera and Dansony that's very sought after. And she's got these beautiful pots for each plant. Here's a Palea Propagation, which is doing pretty well. And then a regular Golden Pothos. I really hope I can take care of these guys well, but I think I need to do a little bit more research just in case. Also, she was super kind because she dropped off some mochi donuts and I wanted to get some today so this is perfect timing. Look at these guys! So these came at the perfect time because I was just thinking about how I wanted to reorganize the layout of my room and that means I can make more space for these new guys and also just like have a little fun with the space. I've been getting tired of what I have currently which is just my desk facing the window and I usually just like to change up things from time to time because I get bored of the layout. So I think today is the day and I'm going to get started after eating some of these guys. This is my current table layout right now. Nothing really much has changed except this guy takes up all the space and blocks out all the light from the window. So because of that, I have plants behind it. All my plants are kind of grouped up in a way which is kind of nice, but I want them a little bit more spread out. What I'm thinking is have this desk move there and have this as more of like a packaging desk over here so that I can have more plants on it. Okay, my plan does not make sense anymore. I don't think this is gonna work. I did not think this through, like, at all. I kind of just wasted an hour doing nothing, but I think I figured out what my plan is. I drew my room layout and I think it's going to work. Honestly, I have no idea if any of these really work because none of these measurements are accurate.
so it took absolutely way longer than I thought it would to rearrange my room but here it is ah. this is my new room so the main difference is I added my old desk in so now that I have more room for packaging and this will be my main computer desk and these guys moved here and was originally over here and now this is just a plant shelf and now my sofa is in the weirdest place ever but I could still access my closet which is good to know this is gonna be my favorite area because now I have everything connected so that I could package without getting up and everything should run more smoothly I think and I have an own separate area for cutting and I have my cutting mat here as well and then now I feel like I'm more united with my plants. I started this when it was 2 or 3 p.m. and this is the window. It is dark now. What a fun day. I should really get some more work done. Moving everything around takes so much energy. Some friends want to get together and play Among Us so I'm gonna get to that soon but I just wanted to show some mail. So in the last video, ooh, I got some packaging stuff and it's already here. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is way bigger than I thought it was. Here's the wooden stamp that came and it says do not bend or something like that, but it looks like this on the bottom. Ooh. adventure. a little day trip yesterday to visit some friends and we went to this local plant nursery and it was really nice we had to wait in line for like an hour and a half to get in and unfortunately i didn't get a lot of footage in because we only had 25 minutes to shop and check out all the, at the same time 
so I was like really rushed but I wanted to show what I got which includes this boy right here this guy really caught my eye mostly because this has like a very bluish tone on the top and he's just like very beautiful I love the pattern and it's like a very like soft matte and truth be told the other reason why I got this guy is because I don't know what he is and that kind of interests me my hunch is that it's definitely in the prayer plant family because the leaves when I got it were closed and now in the morning they're opened up and also this guy looks a lot like a plant that I already have which is this guy so this guy is the rattlesnake calathea and as you can notice they both have the maroon to the underside of their leaves so I feel like these guys are brothers or so I'm gonna figure it out soon yeah so this is the big guy I got and then I got this other one this one I do know because my friend had this plant and it is a caudex plant as you can see this is a caudex it's like a it looks like a potato it's like a big stone so i think the common name for this guy is elephant's foot or something like that but then the scientific name is something really hard that i can't pronounce but it has something to do with elephant so here is the name also i forgot to show this guy but my friend also gave me a clipping of her maranta she has this really nice maranta that she got from the same nursery about a year ago and it's been trailing a lot and so I got this clipping it's always so nice to buy new plants because you come across these like really cool looking ones but at the same time like I feel like I'm failing my old ones I have had a really good start to my week and a really good morning where I just did a lot of errands and I got a lot of your orders out to the post office today so that felt really good. I've been kind of dropping hints here and there and in my last video about this but I have a big announcement. I'm going to be starting a Patreon. This is actually something that's been on my mind for quite some time now 
and actually it was one of my 2020 resolutions all the way back in January. I've always wanted to have a sticker club of my own and really there's something so like endearing about Patreon and it's so cute to have like monthly themes and just all these goodies from a month to month basis so I really wanted to try and I'm really hoping that it'll be a good way to connect more with you guys and hopefully share a little bit more about me as well but yeah I'm like really excited about this and it's been a long time coming but there's still a part of me that's like really nervous about things and I think that's what's been really holding me off all these months like when it comes to Patreon I know that there's a lot of responsibilities and I'm just a little scared of that <laughs> but I feel like I just like really have to push myself because this will be a really fun thing for me to do and the reason why I'm launching it now this coming month in October is because I don't want to miss this fall season and also my birthday is in October it's October 6th so I'm hoping I could do something fun for the birthday maybe launch a sale or have like little freebie stickers but I'm not really sure I want to know what you guys think so and I don't know I'm just nervously excited i guess <laughs> this is this month's digital download and wallpaper for your phone oh. <laughs> but i'm going with a spoopy ghost theme for my first month on patreon and i really love the things that i created this month this is gonna be the physical print that comes with all the stickers and for the sticker designs i've come up with these very witchy haunting stickers but also just really cute like here is Mushy and Mr. Bear, but as a witch and a mage. That's been everything that I've been working on and it's gonna come out soon and I'm excited. Now it's time to actually make the stickers. Huh. Uh, Sebastian, thanks for the sound, Sebastian. It's just really nice to go out and do some errands from time to time. As it is the last day of September, it is time to get ready for Inktober and I think I'm gonna start on my drawings now. Earlier today I went to the art store and I picked up some things which included these pre-cut slices of watercolor paper and also a lot of gouache. Ever since I was an art college student, I've always wanted these colors but I never had it in me to buy them because I had no reason to. I might have spent a little bit more than I should have but I love these. Well anyways I compiled a list of the words from all the three prompts that I'm doing this month and I'm definitely not going to get to every day because that's not really possible for me because I am very tired being all the time. Also, I just wanted to show some mail that I got in the last few days and this one's the first one which is label stickers and they're 
Happy Mail stickers. I wish this came in a little earlier because I just sent out like a hundred packages. So, but it's okay because I'll have these for all future orders for quite some time because this guy is a chonky roll. And then the next things I got in the mail were, guess what? It's the stickers. And this time around, they have the color and they look so good. And I'm just really happy. Honestly, Sticker App was so nice to send them over again. Their customer service is really great and I really can't recommend them enough. And yeah, now that I have the sticker thing settled, I could focus on my painting. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> I just launched my Patreon and I am so emotional right now. <laughs> oh man, I did not expect this amount of love and you guys are just so good to me and I am just forever grateful and appreciative of all your support and like, oh, today has been a day. I was super nervous about this and I still am. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna mess things up at some point but I really hope you guys look forward to what I'm making. Okay, this is a little TMI, but I have period cramps today and I feel really nauseous from them, so like... It's like a combination of nausea from that and just excitement from this new thing that is making me so emotional right now. This is the start of something really fun and I'm so glad that you guys can join me on it. I just wanted to thank some people and my very first patron is Chantha so thank you so much Chantha I've been holding back on this for such a long time just thinking and like doubting myself like I can't do this I'm not legit enough but you guys have proven me wrong and I really want to prove my worth to you and I just really hope that I can make some happy things for you guys and just brighten up your day somehow <laughs> me way longer but I finished up five paintings and I am pretty happy with most of them although it was quite a struggle. This is the first guy I painted and I was super doubting my choice of colors at first because I was like everything's very pastel and for some reason it looked very dull but then I started experimenting with the colors and mixing around and I found out that I really like this dark more burgundy crimsony color so it turned out well I forgot how hard acrylic wash is sometimes because they dry fast and I, I just gotta keep working with them I put up 10 slots for my big tier on my patreon which is for original artwork so if you want to get these I am going to have these up and I'll be sending them out to my patrons at the end of the month. Mm. Well, that's it for now. And I never really know how to do my outros because I say the same thing over and over again. I never know if it gets annoying. 
but <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Boy boy. It's time for me to sleep. I need to sleep earlier. <laughs>